Okay, 12.1, uh, 12, or sorry, not 12.1, 12.7, and 12.7 is the normal distributions, so we're going to do some examples here. And in order to do these examples on the normal distribution, because we're talking about normal distribution, that also means we are talking about the normal curve. So we draw ourselves a curve well, with the middle and the one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three standard deviations, and there we go. So basically it's saying that the mean is 205 uh, for the jumps, 205 centimeters, so there's 205, and the standard deviation is 13, which means uh, I'm going to take that 205 and I'm going to add 13 to it to get 218 for this one, add 13 more to it to get 231, and add another 13 to it to get, for this one, 244. But now I gotta go backwards, 205 minus 13, because I gotta fill in the other half. That one's 192 minus 13, and that is 179 minus 13 is 166. Okay, so what's the probability that the randomly selected high jump has a personal score between 205, so between here, so between this one and this one? Well, you got to remember your percents, right? Remember your percents. This is 34%. This is 34%. This is 13.5. This is 13.5. This is 2.35. That means this is 2.35. This is 0.15 and 0.15. Now, I don't need all the percents. All I need is between 205 and 231. So I take those two numbers, add them together, and that gives me 47.5% as my answer. Take a look here at the next one. Identical problem as the last, right? Identical problem. There's my curve. There is my line. There's the median. And the median, they are saying, is 215. So it's just different numbers. And the, the standard deviation is uh, 14, so 215 plus 14, so that it means this is 229. Um, then the next one is um, take 14, add it to that to get 243, and take 14 and add it to that one and get 257. And we got to go the other way, so take 215 minus 14 and we get 201 and minus 14 again from that we get 187 and minus 14 from that we get 173 so we're supposed to find uh, between 201 which is right here and 215 well that's just and you can look back because I already filled them all in that is in between this area right here which is the 34 percent one so literally it's just 34 percent is your answer so 34 percent is your answer and that's it so now we go to do this one draw the curve and put the line there good there's the middle and it says that the mean and the average is 125 minutes standard deviation is 18 so 125 plus 18 is let's see here what 143 so I get 143 plus um, 18 again is 161 and plus 18 again is uh, 179 and then going down 125 minus 18 is 107 and minus 18 is 89 and then minus 18 again is 71 so what's the percentage of operations that last longer so I went longer than 89 so which direction do you think that means well if this is 89 longer than 89 would be anything higher so I'm looking for everything in this direction so from here up well, remember this is 34 this is 34 this is 13.5 this is 13.5 
that's 2.35, right? That's 0.15 right in there. So I just add them up. 13.5 plus 34 plus 34 plus 13.5 plus 2.35 plus 0.15. And we end up getting 97.5% as our answer. And we add them all up. And last, same type of problem, same using the curve. And when we do this, our mean, our average is 130. It says you add 18 to it, so we get 148. And when we add 18 to that, we end up getting 166. And when we add 18 to that, um, we end up getting 184. But now we need to take the standard deviation down, so we get 112 and 94 and 76. So now it's saying what percentage of operations last longer than 94? Longer than 94 means anything higher. So basically it's the same answer as the last problem, right? This is 13.5, 34, 34, 13.5, 2.35, 0.15, so the correct answer when you add them all up is 97.5%. The only other thing I want you to remember is the formulas. Um, there's that formula and the standard deviation formula, which is this one. Okay, because sometimes they might ask you to find the mean, the standard deviation. Remember, N stands for the number of trials and P stands for the percent or the probability and all of those. So just remember that when you're doing these sometimes you might be asked to find the the mean yourself by reading the problem and also finding the standard deviation. So just be prepared for those problems as well. Um, so all that means is if there were 240 people in a trial, so there's the number of people and the percentage of them being successful, we'll just say, was 30%. To find the mean, you would take 240 times 30%. So 240 times um, 30%, that means you would find the mean of 72. That would be your mean, okay? And over here, your standard deviation, you would take 240 times 0.3 and 1 minus 0.3 is 0.7 so basically it is the square root of 240 times 0.3 times 0.7 and that gives you roughly uh, 7.1 is the standard deviation then so then you could set up your curve using those two items. If you have any other further questions or concerns, please let me know in 12.7. Um, otherwise, um, get studying for your test, and we shall talk later.